Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's Top Tweaks videos. And you guessed it, I'm gonna show you guys the best things you can install on the brand new iOS 12.4 jailbreak. So before we start, you guys know what to do. Show that support anyway. I just want to remind everyone that if you're not on 12.4, definitely get there. We have a video dedicated on how to do that. We have a video showing you guys how to jailbreak on iOS 12.4. And we already have a Top Tweaks video out showing you guys some of the best things that you can install. Well, let's go ahead and jump directly into things. Whether you guys are using Cydia or Cilio, this video is going to be applicable to you. Now, the best thing is this year, since there's been so many iOS 12 jailbreak releases, so many tweaks have already been updated for iOS 12.4 and or work directly out of the box. So pretty much my entire setup on iOS 12.1.2 over here can be transferred over to my iOS 12.4 setup. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the best free tweaks you can install, but before we get into that list, I just wanted to show everyone this list. This is an entire list of over 200 tweaks that have been tested by the jailbreak community and are proven to be working. As you guys can see, there really isn't much red here. Pretty much 90% of the tweaks on this list work out of the box on iOS 12.4. So we'll go ahead and link this down below in this video's description. If you guys want a list of a good 250 to 300 tweaks, and again, this is dynamically updated. People keep adding to this as time goes on, so it'd be great to bookmark this and subscribe to our channel. So let's get directly into things. Starting out here on my iPhone 10, running iOS 12.4. I'll just go ahead and pop up the settings app, go to about and show you guys I am updated to the latest version of iOS and I'm completely jailbroken with Chimera running Celio. Well, let's talk about some Celio tweaks right off the bat. One of my favorite ones that just came out is called Fluid Tabs. Now, either at the top or at the bottom, you can literally just swipe to go to the next screen or down here on the bar. As you guys can see, you can just swipe between tabs. And again, this works on both Cydia and Celio, as well as third-party applications, anything with a tab manager. But I think this works really well right within the package manager. So next up, we have Sil Actions. If you guys just tap and hold, you can actually reinstall or uninstall tweaks just like that, add them to the queue, and the really cool part is you can go ahead and click confirm, let it do its thing, and when you're done, when you click done right there, restart Celio, instead of restarting the springboard, it actually takes you back right to your installed packages so you can begin to install more packages. Then of course you can go in and manually respring once you have your entire list all done. And this one's just a minor one, but Celio No Banner removes this annoying, obnoxious red banner right here from unsupported uh, repositories, so it looks just a little bit cleaner. And lastly, we have a quick way to back up all of our installed tweaks as well as our sources with batch o -Matic. And you can actually transfer this to other iOS devices as well. Jumping over to Cydia, I haven't forgot about my Uncover fans out there. Of course, we have the typical ones right here, swipe for more to quickly queue up packages. I have tweak count right up at the top, and then I have flame to actually export my sources and tweaks list, just like that. And lastly, a big one here for Cydia is called Tweak Compatible 2. It lets you know if the tweak you're going to install is compatible with your current iOS version. And again, this tweak is entirely community-based, so definitely give feedback on Tweak Compatible if your tweak is not working that you're trying to install. So I'm sure a lot of people are interested in iOS 13. Well, here you can kind of have the best of both worlds. We can get the iOS 13 style volume HUD with 13 HUD. We of course have a dark mode with this free tweak called Dune, basically themes the entire iOS, your dock, all of your folders, and gives it a nice dark mode. And then lastly, this one was super awesome that this is finally updated. This one's called Quick CC, which lets you quickly adjust uh, or change which Wi-Fi network or which Bluetooth devices you're connected to, just like an iOS 13, right within the control center. Some of my other favorites that are free, Hide Bar X gets rid of that annoying bar at the bottom. 
We have this control center platter right here to quickly respring, which is called power module, so just like that. And uh, this one's a throwback, but gravity has also been updated, so you guys can have your icons just float all over the screen like that. That's a classic jailbreak tweak that works on iOS 12.4. Of course, one I can't live without is called Fast Unlock X. Once your face is recognized, it takes you directly to the home screen. This one's great, called Shy Labels. Your labels appear when you're actually using them, swiping between pages, but then they quickly fade away. You guys saw a brief glimpse of this one called Better Settings. It gives an awesome dark mode, but then I also have Shuffle to put tweaks right up here at the top in their own category. Again, works perfectly fine on iOS 12.4 with circle settings. Well, turn your messages up to 11 with this tweak called Bubbles. It looks absolutely incredible on iOS 12.4. Another alternative to notifications and dark mode is called Notifica, which again is entirely free and looks something just like that. And once you have your entire jailbreak set up exactly how you want it, Snapback works perfectly fine on iOS 12.4, so you guys can create a snapshot of your entire tweak setup. You can switch between the two jailbreak utilities and easily restore back to different setups. Now, I know the title of this video says free tweaks, so I'll make this section brief. Here's a sneak peek at some of the best paid tweaks that I use on a daily basis. Now, if you're going to buy anything, the number one I would suggest is called Safe Shutdown. Basically, when your phone gets to about 5%, your phone is going to fake shutdown in a sense. You're not going to be able to interact with it, so it saves your battery for about 30 minutes to an hour. When you plug your device in, save shutdown is disabled and your phone boots back up in its jailbroken state. So you don't have to re-enable your jailbreak every time your battery gets low. Next up, I do use Floating Dock Plus all the time to bring the iPad style dock to the iPhone. As you guys know, in pretty much all of my jailbreak setups, I use Better CCXI to redesign the control center. I have Jellyfish for this custom lock widget right here. Leave me alone to hide Do Not Disturb in that little moon icon right there. Then I have Lisa. Lisa's actually free, which is awesome. It has like this OLED screen, but then you can just double tap to get all of your notifications and wallpaper and things like that. And I don't have this one installed on my iPhone 10, but Boxy 3 and or Iconator 2 have also been updated to give you guys a custom icon grid layout. And very lastly, as far as paid tweaks go, I use this one all the time called Next Up 2, which lets you quickly change which song is coming up next. Once you feel good with your selection, then you can just click Next and or let it go. So it's nice so you can quickly kind of cue or change the cue, I guess, super quickly. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you in this video as far as top free and paid iOS 12.4 jailbreak tweaks go. Now, like I said, there's an entire list of close to 300 tweaks that are fully compatible. So definitely check that out if you're looking for more tweaks. These were some of the basic and essential ones I think you guys should install right after jailbreaking and are some of my favorites that I use every single day. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. For the very end of this video, I'm going to let our previous free Top Tweaks video play out. We covered over 50 tweaks and I think it was a very good resource that's still applicable to this new jailbreak since the majority of the tweaks are fully compatible with iOS 12.4. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoy this video, you know what to do. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the top tweaks. All right, so first up we have Dune, which brings a dark mode to iOS. So not only like on your widgets right here, but also on your notifications as well. Same with dock, folder backgrounds, and all of those things combined. Dark mode on iOS 12 entirely for free. So speaking of dock, I have floaty dock right down here, which brings the iPad style dock to the iPhone. Next, I wanted to talk about some control center tweaks. Now there's a couple going on here. I have cool CC to give these nice white outlined backgrounds on the platters. I also have a sugar cane right here, which displays the percentages on these rockers right there. And then lastly, I 
I have Toglo, which basically adds a nice glow to the toggles within the platters. And very lastly, I've mentioned this in other videos, but this platter right here is called Power Module, and it lets you quickly respring, reboot, enter safe mode, and things like that directly from the control center. So another great one to have is called Evanesco XI. It basically dims and hides the icons as well as the dock, as well as the status bar after 10 seconds. So I know everyone loves this awesome music visualizer on your lock screen, as well as within Spotify, Apple Music, in the Control Center, and even more. And this one's called Mishuta XI. So next up, new grid switcher adds the iPad style multitasking switcher to the iPhone. An awesome one to have right there to add more cards in your multitasking pane. So another one of my favorites is called Better Settings. Not only does it add a dark mode, but it allows you to completely customize the settings app, the background bubble color, and even more. And one more directly within the settings app is called placeholder. So for those tweaks that do not have a tweak icon, placeholder basically puts this yellow tweak icon right there so your settings app looks nice, neat, and organized. Message colors add some awesome gradients to your messages app. Again, we did a full video on this tweak as well. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below in this video's description. If you're looking for a weather related tweak this one called asteroid is the one to go for it adds this awesome little greeting right here on the lock screen it also does a bunch of other stuff you can set the weather as your background you can have a dynamically updating weather app icon and more silent screenshot does exactly what you think it would do if you go to take a screenshot it just appears like that there is absolutely no sound going on in the background if you guys are into theming your icons the go to theming application is called Snowboard, and this theme that I currently have is my go-to called Lotus. Zen HTML lets you add widgets to the home and lock screen, so if you guys are looking for some awesome animations and widgets, definitely check out Zen HTML and Fluid Widget. Also on the home screen, I'm using this tweak called Clean Home Screen, which basically eliminates icon labels as well as page dots, indicators, and a lot more. Definitely check out Clean Home Screen if you want to simplify your look. So this one's kind of a throwback, but this tweak called Primal Folder takes the very first icon in your folder and actually puts that as the folder background. So if I just click on that, then my folder pulls up. And again, with these quick animations, that's called Animations Be Fast. So not only are folder opening and closing animations quick, but pretty much every animation on iOS can be adjusted. Again, a pretty common one is called Cylinder for these awesome animations on the home screen between app icons. So you guys have probably heard of this one again too, the one called Cuttlefish. When you 3D touch an application icon, it will tint the background blur based on the icon's color. So as you guys can see, YouTube's red, Snapchat's yellow, Evernote's green, and Facebook is blue. Animojis 12.2 adds the new iOS 12.2 Animojis to iOS 12 to 12.1.2. So we have the boar, the giraffe, the owl, and the the shark now on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. So two tweaks that I really like that save a lot of power on your iPhone. One is called smart low power mode. So every time you plug your device into charge, it will automatically enable low power mode to charge even faster. And then secondly, the second one is called low power DND. So when you toggle do not disturb, low power mode, low power mode is also enabled with one fell swoop. So it's really nice with both of these tweaks combined when I plug my phone in at night, automatically low power mode and do not disturb is enabled. So this one's a pretty cool one. This one is called CC Linker. So if I just hold down on one of the toggles, it will automatically take me to that section within the settings app. So if I say hold down on Wi-Fi right here, I'm automatically taken to my list of Wi-Fi networks. All right, well, I guess my light died at some point when recording this video. Anyway, the next one that I wanted to talk about is called Buy Beta Alert. If you guys are on an iOS 12 beta, this tweak removes the beta prompt that appears every single time you guys unlock your devices. Another one within the settings app is called What About This? This adds the iOS 12.2 settings app about section redesign to your jailbreak. 
Of course, a great one to always have is Files of File Manager, so you guys can modify system files if needed, but definitely be careful when doing this. So a great free volume HUD tweak is called Video HUD. It basically looks something just like that right up in the top right, and it is system wide. It looks like this across all apps on your home screen and on your lock screen, and that is entirely free. Again, this one's called Video HUD. So one that I love to have is called Send Delay. It basically delays your message from sending for about one to two seconds. So it looks something just like that. I'll do it one more time when I click send instead of sending immediately. It takes just a second to send the message off. And you guys can cancel this from being sent too. As well as power module, it's just nice to have multiple ways to respring your device. This tweak called more power options looks something like this. So when you go to reboot your device, you now have shutdown, respring, reboot, and safe mode. So this one's kind of a hidden and minor one, but if you guys redesign your icon layer, out, and if you hide these page shots, you actually can't touch on them until you install this tweak called Allow Touches on Page Dots. So now where those page dots used to be, you can actually touch right there and swipe between pages. It's kind of just a necessity one in my opinion to have, um, and one you really wouldn't think about, but it's a nice one to have if you guys are looking for that. So again, another messages tweak, this one called Smooth Cursor allows your cursor to be just a little bit more smooth when either swiping between text and trying to select a certain position or even when typing as you guys can see the cursor just isn't quite as jagged anyway guys that one's called smooth cursor so this tweak called disconnected alerts you when your Wi-Fi connection has just dropped kind of just a quality of life tweak to have when you're on the go so another good one to have if you guys use your iPhone without a sim card as you guys can see I have a sim card currently in but if I took my sim card out this tweak called no sim alert basically removes the no sim prompt that iOS notifies you about every single time you unlock your device. So for those of you that use an old iPhone as an iPod or something like that, that is a great tweak to have at your disposal. So I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why my keyboard is green within the messages app or throughout this video so far that you've seen. It looks pretty gross with this color layout with the purple message bubbles, but this tweak is actually pretty cool. It's green because the messages app is actually green. If I go into Safari, the keyboard is now blue. If I pull up Cydia, the keyboard is brown. And this one is called Colorboard. So it's pretty new, I really like it. So again, just quality of live tweaks. As you guys can probably tell, most of these don't modify the system look too crazy much, but they add a lot of functionality to your iPhone. Now this one called Mark Favorites lets you mark multiple photos as your favorite at the exact same time in one fell swoop. So again, if I just select multiple photos, I can just favorite them all right there. IG OLED is another free dark mode tweak. This one is entirely for Instagram, however, which it looks really sweet and did dark mode on this app just perfectly. Of course, I had to mention iCleaner Pro, just an awesome one to clean up your iOS file system and remove unnecessary files. So another new tweak that I thought I would share in this video is called Surrey Invisible. And this one lets you toggle Surrey with the side button or by saying the hey, Surrey command, but nothing will actually be displayed on the screen and there won't be any sounds associated with toggling Surrey. So I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about just by pressing the side button or holding it down right here. So here we go. Open music. As you guys can see, Surrey was activated, but there really wasn't any way to tell that it was activated, which is kind of an interesting one. Um, I thought I would share with you guys in this video. It's a pretty new tweak and uh, I kind of like it. It's less intrusive. You can't really tell that Surrey is there at all and it removes the full screen interface of Surrey as well. Again, a great one for iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max or 10R users is called Fast Unlock X. Basically, you look at your phone and it will automatically take you to the home screen once your face is recognized. Also, I love getting rid of that home bar with hide bar X, and I love having bar emoji right there on my keyboard as well. It actually makes use of that space otherwise unused by Apple. 
Now another cool one for widgets is called Widget Extend. It basically always expands the widget panes right here. You can't show less anymore. It just makes them full screen and I think it looks really sweet. Again, that one's called Widget Extend. All right, well I still like this tweet called Pencil Charging Indicators. So when I plug my phone into power, it shows a little indicator just like that, just like the Apple Pencil on the new iPad Pros. So again, another really cool one on the lock screen and notification center is called Noodle. Now, when music is playing or when your phone is actually plugged in and charging, your display on the lock screen now will no longer shut off. And again, you can toggle it for just music playing or for just charging, but I currently have both enabled. Anyway guys, let's end this video with one super useful tweak that I think you guys are going to really love. Again, it's brand new and this this one is called Smart Light. So this one allows you to turn your flashlight on by pressing the volume down button and the side button. So with both of these buttons right here, now you can toggle on your flashlight just like that and toggle it off. I think that's a really quick and interesting way to actually toggle the flashlight. And uh, it doesn't really interfere with any of the other toggles. It still lets you pull up the respring options right there, but pressing both at the same time simultaneously lets you toggle on your flashlight. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This was a look at 50 tweaks that are entirely free that you can install. I tried to make this video as interesting as possible. It took a long time to compile this list of 50 free tweaks that I actually thought were interesting and worthwhile to install. Anyway, guys, with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Apple and jailbreaking news. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.